Hello, everyone. My name is Liu Haifeng. I'm currently a PhD candidate from Huazhou University of Science and Technology. Today, I'm very glad to be here to give a brief introduction of our recent work on accelerating personality recommendation with closed-level near memory processing. As we know, recommendation models become a fundamental building block of the intellect industry and are widely used in a range of applications. This figure shows a deep learning-based recommendation model architecture, which consists of two fully connected layers and an embedding layer. As the computer-intensive fully connected layers are well studied, we focus on the memory-bounded embedding layer in this work. The memory-bounded embedding layer imposes the following challenges to efficient execution. Firstly, the embedding tables take large storage capacity up to hundreds of gigabytes to terabytes. Besides, the embedding operation exhibits low computer density compared to typical DNN models. In addition, the embedding table lookups exhibit irregular memory access and result in poor spatial data locality and high cache miss rate. To this end, the memory bounded embedding layer is suited for the near memory processing, which integrates the processing units near or inside the memory, significantly reduce the data movements between the storage devices and the operating units. As we can see, the modern DRAM data path is organized as a tree structure. And existing near memory processing solutions exploit the memory level parallelism by placing processing elements dedicated for each memory load. For example, adding one PE dedicated for each rank to leverage the rank level parallelism. Similarly, adding one PE dedicated for each bank group or bank to leverage the bank group level or bank level parallelism. However, existing near memory processing solutions only pursue high memory parallelism without considering the characteristics of the embedding data. In practice, the embedding data access distribution is usually highly skewed, but existing solutions adopt a symmetric architecture in which all the data are handled at the same level of memory parallelism, which causes highly low imbalance. For example, a small portion of memory nodes handle most of the memory requests, while most of the others remain idle. Besides, we also notice that as we exploit higher near memory processing level, the internal bandwidth scales up rapidly, but performance has hardly improved. To overcome above limitations, we argue that it is of great importance to consider both embedding data and memory architecture characteristics. To this end, we propose an asymmetric memory processing architecture named the Recross that exploits multiple memory processing levels in one system to accommodate different embedding data requirements. For example, we divide the memory into three regions, each of which is featured with rank, bank group or bank level near memory processing. Then for embedding data with a higher access frequency, we place it in the memory region with a higher memory parallelism. In this way, we not only reduce the number of processing units, but also neutrally solve the load imbalance problem. For more information, please refer to our paper. Thank you.